Hey, you two. So, this is going to be my Christmas tag, and it is episode 19. It was supposed to be episode 18, and I recorded footage of my daughter and I doing the tag together. We put all of the questions in a little Christmas mug and sat down by the fireplace and took turns picking the questions out of the Christmas mug and answering the questions. But I accidentally deleted it. So I recorded my video when I got home from work today making pancakes which is if you're watching these in order it was episode 18 <laughs> that was gonna be episode 20 but now I made it episode 18 because I'm gonna make my Christmas tag over and I'm gonna try to answer these questions so yeah and uh, if you did already watch episode 18 about me making pancakes and relaxing and having wine. This is wine glass number two. Because <laughs> I'm a little frustrated from losing my video. So, alright. I'm going to be looking at my husband's computer screen over here. And I have Fluffy's questions up. What is your favorite Christmas film? Number one. Number one, what is your favorite Christmas film? Miracle on 34th Street. I just finished watching Kevin's Christmas Tag, and we have that in common. Great film. Number two, have you ever had a white Christmas? Yes, I have. I live in Missouri. I've had many white Christmases. Where do you usually spend your holiday? I've always had my holiday at home. What is your favorite Christmas song? Oh, Holy Night. Do you open any presents on Christmas Eve? Growing up, I've always opened on Christmas Eve because my mom had a tradition of making homemade cinnamon rolls and cousins, neighbors, priests would all come over Christmas morning. So if you didn't have somewhere to go Christmas morning, you received an invitation from my mom to come to our home. And it was like an open house. It grew. I mean, I have four older brothers, but I remember when, ever since I was little, it was a huge party Christmas morning. I'd wake up in my pajamas and, and there'd be 20 adults in the kitchen eating cinnamon rolls. So we always did Santa Christmas Eve growing up. And... um We still go to my mom's house on Christmas Eve. All my brothers, all their wives, all the cousins. We have a big, huge family. And we celebrate on Christmas Eve. Can you name all of Santa's reindeer? No. And I even tried in the other video that Jesse and I did and I failed. <laughs> what holiday traditions are you looking forward to most this year? The cinnamon rolls. My kids have always had cinnamon rolls Christmas morning. I've continued to keep that tradition just with my immediate family. Is your Christmas tree real or fake? It is fake. Number nine, what is all? What is your all-time favorite holiday food or sweet treat? Cinnamon rolls. Number ten, be honest. Do you like giving gifts or receiving gifts better? My love language is receiving gifts. So I'm going to have to be honest and tell you that I cherish a true gift. I do love giving gifts. But I also love receiving them. What is the best Christmas gift you've ever received? Um... Probably from my dear friend Stephanie. In fact, she already sent me a beautiful gift. I got it in the mail a couple days ago. Oh, I videoed it. So go back and look at yesterday at episode 18. 
and I'll show you what Stephanie sent me. Uh, Stephanie knows me so well, and we've been online. We met online on here on YouTube. And uh, she always sends me a gift that really means a lot to me. Number 12, what would be your dream place to visit for the holiday season? Always, there's no place like home. Number 13, are you a pro present wrapper? I fail miserably. And I do not enjoy wrapping presents. I love those boxes that you can just open up. <laughs> Number 14, most memorable holiday moment. Unfortunately, my most memorable holiday is the worst one I've ever had. And that was when my husband and I separated in 2013. And it was just a horrible Christmas. And I guess that's why I remember it the most. Because every, every other one has always been blessed and beautiful and my kids are wonderful, but that was a tough one. Number 15, what made you realize the truth about Santa? I found out about Santa just like Kevin where my brother needed my help getting presents out of my parents' bedroom closet. He asked me to stand on his back so that I could reach up and get the presents down. He even showed me how to unwrap the presents and cutting the scotch tape right on the line and then rewrapping them back up, which we did that year. Terrible. Number 16. Do you make New Year's resolutions and do you stick to them? I do not make New Year's resolutions because I know that I wouldn't stick to them. But I do, last year I did one word, which I'm wearing. My word for 2017 was embrace. And I've already chosen my word for 2018 and it will be shine. Google one word and you'll find out what I'm talking about. Number 17, what makes the holiday special for you? Being with family. Being with family is very important to me. All right, guys, so that's a wrap, and I will see you tomorrow. Thanks, Lori, for the tag.